Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This will be for the 9th to the 15th of August 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page. Hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Just remember it's a general reading. It's not going to suit every person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa. I'm going to do things a little bit different today. All right, let's start. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Okay. I feel like you have had a lot of stuff going in your life. I don't feel like your life's been easy for a lot of you. I don't feel like you, whether you feel like you've been abandoned, whether you feel like you've had a, yeah, I just feel like you've had a lot of stuff going on. Maybe you're the person that always leaves, but. It could just be the opposite as what I said as it's what I said. But I feel like you've got the Phoenix. You are gonna rise and have a um, new phase. You are growing, you are transforming, um, which is really good. Now, the ones on the table. First, you've got taking a break. Now, I feel like you did break up with someone. This is in reverse, it's not normally a breakup, but it's in reverse. So I feel like you did, you had a breakup. Um, and it wasn't just taking a break. You decided to break up. There was some sort of breakup. I want to know more. The other thing is, though, you've also got the escape artist in reverse. And I feel like you... Because of what you've been through, maybe you are afraid to be loved. Maybe you, no one seems to really, I guess, suit what it is you expect. Um, but I feel like you don't, you've tried over and over and over and over. Over and over and over. What are your expectations in your relationships? And do you prioritize this relationship? Do you, are your expectations the same as this other person's? Um, is there a total connection with this person? Like, do you have this compatibility, the same you know, personality types? Do you have the same attachment styles? Do you have the same intimacy ideas? You know, like everything, everything. And even, as I said, physical intimacy is a big thing. I feel like there's a lack of physical intimacy in this relationship as well. Um, yeah, I don't feel like it was kind of what you expected. It didn't turn out the way you'd expected. But I also feel like somebody... Like, I feel like some of you are doing some inner work, but I feel like you keep on, you need to do some inner work. You need to. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're not. Um, you need to heal yourself first because you'll attract what you are. So unless you're the best version of you, if you're already, you're, you're doing the work, but have you done the work? Because the best version of you will attract the best version of someone else. If you're still doing the work, then you're going to attract someone who's also very in the same kind of situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to be the best version of you, so you attract the best version of someone else. And you also want to attract people that want to grow with you. And if someone's not, it's not going to work. You can't be the one doing all the, the inner work and this other person sitting back doing nothing. We've all, got, we've all got stuff we need to work on to better ourselves. 
Let's find out more. Tell me more about taking a break in reverse for Sag. Um, I feel like you definitely need to do some um, work on yourself. With the nine, this is all about self-worth. And um, it's also about over-investing. So whether you over-invest in situations where maybe the other people are not. As I said, there's not an equal balance. But also you need to do some, some work on you. Somebody's very obsessed with details though. Like, he did this, she did this, oh, blah, blah, blah. They're not doing what I want them to do. Whatever, you're obsessed with that. You're obsessed with details. Too many. I mean, rest and recuperate. That's one that fell out, right? Do some meditation, do some contemplation, all that sort of stuff. Um, I feel like you did there was this ending and as i said with the death card it's big endings and it's about severing ties knowing it's time to move on there was this definite ending with this person i feel like you still feel like you never got some sort of closure but i feel like you have accepted the fact that you are not maybe not going to get closure but you did cut ties yeah look clarity this is making a final decision. It's forgiving, making a change, you know, like absolution. So I feel like, yeah, this was definitely a breakup. Right. The Escape Artist. Tell me more about the Escape Artist card. The Knight of Swords in reverse. Um, this is somebody who... If they've got their mindset, you can't change them. If you said the sky is blue and they said, no, it's green, you won't be able to convince them that it's blue or not green. You can't unconvince somebody. It's also maybe you've got no communication with this person right now um, with, the, with the swords. Um, but I feel like... You feel burnt out, restless. And I feel like previously there's been a lot of emotional responses to challenges, maybe more so than intellectual. And you really didn't want to make kind of changes because they suited where you were at at the time. Um, but as I said, I feel like you kept on trying rather than walk away or, you know, maybe you weren't the one that sabotaged. Maybe the other person is, maybe someone's afraid to be loved. Um, or someone ends things so that they don't get hurt. And maybe it comes back to the abandonment issues. If you do want to say your piece, make sure you do communicate clearly. Um, maybe you were in a relationship that was unemotional or you were emotionally unavailable or somebody was emotionally unavailable. Patience and planning. I mean, this is about you having delayed success and you putting in the work you'll get results this is like you're waiting for the next move you're planting your seeds and you're waiting for things to happen for you um but you're looking things at a long-term view and and i think that's why there was the breakup so you need to heal your heart chakra maybe do some guided meditation maybe wear green crystal maybe do some yoga um that kind of thing I feel like you figure this the situation is not going to give you what you want, which is your wishes fulfilled. So look at your, as I said, your expectations. Look at your, whether you have this total connection with somebody, intimacy, like, tell me more.
Knight of Wands and Queen of Swords both in reverse. There was probably a lot of jealousy and suspicion and um, arguments, frustration, um, you know, that kind of situation. A lot of arguments about that. And the Queen of Swords, I mean, this is somebody who's cold-hearted, deceitful, sly. They could also be very bitchy, um, easily influenced. Um, you know, whether you didn't trust your own intuition, I feel like, as I said, there was a lack of passion in this relationship as well. Um... But I feel like you, you're not wanting to release people that don't serve you anymore. You don't, like, they're not for your highest good. And whether you got divorced or you were just unmarried could also describe you. Um, But you need to do that. You need to both do inner work, and maybe that's not what happened. But maybe you need to do some more inner work. And just wait for divine timing. Things will get better for you. In the meantime, the um, the Temperance card is all about like choose how you respond. You know, like you can only control you. You can't control another person. All you can do is control you and, you know, look at how you respond to somebody. You might have to have some self-control. And also stand your ground. Yeah, you definitely feel like you didn't get some sort of closure. You've also got the Ten of Wands in reverse. You know, you're just feeling burnt out, overwhelmed. You know, you need to release something. Even though you feel like you never got personal with some sort of closure, release it. Romantic feelings in reverse and very soon in reverse. I feel like things are just going to take some time and it's all about divine timing. Things are going to happen when they're meant to, which is probably why you also got patience and planning. Things are going to take time. Things can't happen overnight. You plant the seeds, they're not going to grow overnight. Unfortunately, they're going to take some time. And romantic feelings... They're not worth exploring. You've how many times do you need to redo a situation? I feel like the bond was broken, and also feel like you are going to end up with a new love. But you need to love yourself first. And maybe part of that inner work is dealing with your stuff that happened maybe in childhood maybe throughout your whole life also you know working on your self-love your codependency whatever this is believe and succeed six of wands in reverse as i said maybe you feel like you've got lack of confidence you don't have much belief that things are going to happen for you yeah Not feeling overly optimistic. And you've got a lack of trust. 
but you are going to move on. Right, that's what I have for you, Sag. I hope that resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you with the next reading. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.